Frozen literally came out of nowhere and is one of my favorite animated movies of all time. There, I must say it. Frozen is about two sisters who one of them has these powers um, where she can shoot ice out of her hands and make snow and that's all good and fun until she harms her little sister and she is sent away in her room where she can't see her sister and seen by humans because she can't control her powers. So years go by and the younger sister, um, voiced by Christian Bale, can't see her sister and she feels bad. She just wants to um, see her sister and expresses her emotions through song, um, through any Disney movie. And so the day comes where they open the gates and things go bad and the older sister leaves, creates her own ice castle up in the mountains and she goes and saves the day to help her sister. Um, I really didn't know anything about the story. I knew it was like a princess Disney movie, but so the story is really nice and I like that they took this different approach um, to not involve true love, true love's first kiss in the movie. That, you know, that was uh, touched upon in the movie that you have to save um, the girl by true love's first kiss, but it also was more about siblings and the importance of, um, you know, if you have a brother or a sister, the importance of being there for each other. And I really like that different approach uh, Frozen took and Disney handled. I saw it in 3D. The 3D is amazing. It's not like everything kind of jumps out at you. What I really did like is the snowflakes coming down. And they show the snowflakes really great and the 3D looks great for the snowflakes. The animation is amazing. Uh, the ice that she uses and the snow, um, the glass, everything is it's very detailed and I love the animation in this movie. I am a sucker for songs, and I must say I was happy all the time that they sang a song. Um, the two songs, Let It Go and First Time In Forever, which were in the first half of the movie, I was, I was smiling throughout the whole song and I just had chills and it was just, it added a lot of emotion to the movie. And at the end, I, there were some emotions for me and I really did love this movie. Um, one of my favorite animated movies um, of Disney's in recent years. I really liked Wreck -It, Ralph, Wreck It Ralph last year, but I think that Frozen is way better. Um, probably my, since 2010, my favorite Disney movie was Toy Story, but this is my second favorite Disney movie since then. I really did love the movie. The, the only, I only had one problem with it, and that I felt like the presence of the snowman, Olaf, and the giant um, snowman that they, uh, she created, and the trolls that they were involved, kind of at first threw off the vibe of the movie because everything was going as princesses and singing and love and all that and then you kind of got these different creatures snowmen involved and kind of threw off the vibe for me at first but afterwards when they were singing um, and then you kind of got used to the characters more that that went away and then I loved Olaf he was really funny I think his voice was played uh, voiced by jo Josh Gad um, really great um, character added to Frozen uh, halfway through the movie and you know at first it was like eh, but then I was like yeah so Frozen I really did like it I like that they took this different approach and focused more on sibling than true love um, it, it had these elements of a classic Disney movie that I really did love it's the music and the values and morals of the story that I really just took in and thought about and you know some of the recent Disney movies uh, like Tangled is kind of like Frozen I would think that you have um, song and the animation kind of looked the same as well I really did like Tangled uh, I can you can compare Frozen to Tangled very easily with the animation and the style but um, I, Frozen is just it's a lot better I just really like Frozen the, the 3D was great the animation the music the voices the humor the story, everything about it, Disney knocked it out of the park, and I think it's one of the best movies of the year so far for me. So, this is Justin Watching Movies. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and have a great weekend. Bye.